Hello, I'm David Salazar. And I'm Francisco Salazar. And we're Opera Wire, bringing you the news on TDO Network. German Chancellor Angela Merkel has extended the lockdown and has cancelled all large gatherings until August 31st. As a result, the Bayerische Stadt's Opera has cancelled the remainder of the 2019-20 season and its Munich Opera Festival. The Berlin State Opera, the Deutsche Berlin Opera, the Komich Opera, the Hamburg Opera and the Semper Opera Dresden have also cancelled the rest of their seasons. Dutch Prime Minister Mark Rutte cancelled all large gatherings until September due to the extended lockdown. As a result, the Dutch National Opera and the Holland Festival have cancelled their summer festivals. LA Mayor Eric Garcetti told CNN that performances would not resume until 2021. Meanwhile, President Ivan Duque from Colombia said performances will not happen for another 18 months. In a more positive and hopeful development, Austria's Minister of Culture announced that some of the social distancing protocols will be lifted starting on June 1st. In lifting these protocols, it was mentioned that orchestras will be allowed to start rehearsing during this time. The same goes for musicians and dancers. Of course, there is the caveat that the groups be kept to a minimum. We're also seeing somewhat of a domino effect taking place regarding cancellations and how they affect the 2021 season. For example, the Berlin State Opera just announced that it was canceling its June 2020 production of Kovancina, which was supposed to be directed by Klaus Gut. Since this June staging will no longer be taking place, the October Revival, which was part of the 2021 season, is also officially cancelled. The company also revealed that productions of Idomeneo and Cosi Fantute will also be affected by this change. And for some good news, the Maryland Lyric Opera donated 300,000 three-ply masks to local hospitals. Members of the Atlanta Opera Studio will be recording arias or personalized songs that will then be sent to members of senior living residences, hospitals, or simply people that are in need of support during this difficult time. The project has already kicked off at the Lembrook Independent Senior Living in Atlanta, Georgia. As you all know, artists have lost their jobs due to the massive amount of cancellations that have happened around the world. The Longborough Festival Opera announced it had raised £300,000 from audience members who had donated their tickets. As a result, they will be donating £200,000 to artists who were scheduled to perform at this year's festival. Finally, the English National Opera just announced that this September in North London it will be presenting La Boheme and the Magic Flute in a drive-in setting. So singers will be on stage, engaging in social distancing protocols, and audience members can just drive in and enjoy the performance. This is a very unique opportunity and a very interesting choice uh, because it also provides us a look at one possible avenue for the future of opera. What do you think, opera lovers? Is this on some level a future avenue for the opera world to take? And that's a wrap on this edition of the News on TDO Network. Thank you for joining us and we'll see you next time. Thank you, and to learn more, visit operawire.com.